My name's Malin, and I'm having a bad hair day, and it's annoying me. But in this video, I want us to talk about how we know nothing, and how that can be such like a beautiful mindset to have. You know, we like to think that we can control things a lot, and that as humans, we're superior, and we have this like power, and you know, we're more conscious than other beings, you know, we're able to change things, we can reflect on our thoughts and create stuff. And these things can be quite beautiful and very beneficial, but also, you know, can get us very egotistical and very, you know, pu puffing ourselves kind of up. And all around in life, we kind of have these one-upmanships, like, oh, you know, I can do this better than you, or I can do that better than you, or I'm not as this as you, or I'm not as that as you. And it's just like this game, like, oh, I'm better than you, just trying to get up with each other. And... <laughs> You know, if we realize this and don't get caught into it, you know, we can just see that this is a part of reality. This is a part of life. You know, we need other people to have that polarity, to have that difference. You know, we need that difference between the two people to understand, oh, this is me. This is another person. This is where I'm at compared to this person. This is where I'm at compared to that person. And... We also have to be aware that, you know, if we're comparing ourselves to people way ahead of us, like on social media, we see a lot of people that are way up there, you know, best genetics, great upbringing, all this sorts of thing, you know, they have lots of money and all that sort of stuff. And if we're always comparing ourselves to them, then we always feel so down and bad about ourselves. And another point that I want to touch on is that there's some things that we can't know and understand. And I actually think that's rather beautiful because, you know, as humans, we like to think that we're almost limitless, but at the end of the day, we're, we're all going to end up dead. We're all going to end up dying. And even if we end up living to the end of the world, which is bound to happen, you know, the world's going to end. Even if we don't end, we will end with the world. And basically the world's going to end. We're going to die. And... You know, we don't know what happens next. We don't know what happens after that. We don't know how exactly we came to be. We just know that we are, this is our life. This is the parts of reality. We can kind of grasp some things about life, you know, like, oh, we have to eat food. We have to drink water. We have to do all these sorts of things. And myself included, I think we don't really realize it from this kind of big, deep perspective. You know, we're just kind of like, oh, just going about my life, just doing my job, earning money, go and do this, you know, go and do that. And in our society, it's very easy to get distracted by these pleasures that really play on all of the parts in ourselves. They're just looking for that scratch to be itched and it just gets us hooked into these things. And I really delved into recently because diet used to be such a big thing for me in health. And I think that it's still such an important thing because recently I, I took magic mushrooms, which sounds very weird. And I was very against drugs. I've never been drunk, never taken any drugs. I thought that it was kind of some weird thing that hippies do. But when I took it, I realized that I lost all of my attachments and I felt so light and I could see things for what they were. I could see myself for what I was. And I thought when I looked at myself, I, I realized, oh, who is this person? Who is Mayla? He seems so weird. He seems so all uptight and serious about life, you know? Like, life is just, you know, and it made me realize, like, life is just is. And, you know, lots of the things should be simple that we should just be doing. And I think for me, it was like, why don't I eat healthy? Why don't we do these things? And it's because it's difficult to change, which is on one hand, it's difficult to change our behavior. But also these things are made to get us addicted and keep us addicted, you know. Scientists and all that have been spending years and years and years on these sorts of things to get us hooked onto these kind of things. And, you know, I realised like there are some certain things like diet and that sort of stuff that are important because we are a vessel and if we don't take care of this vessel then we're not able to produce things, you know, we're not able to live to our fullest and for me thinking that I'm gonna die knowing that I'm gonna die I'm like oh well wouldn't I want to work towards that direction you know wouldn't I want to walk this path and you know it's not this path of discipline and just 
grinding through things and just this difficulty because you know there's also this part of life that should be enjoyed and should be understood and should be explored but then there's also parts of life which I'm talking about in this video that we don't know and that we can't understand and that's kind of beautiful that's kind of amazing that we can't understand everything and that through some things like art we can express things that can't be said in words and words can be so limiting at times like for some people this message may be hitting them for other people you know you may be like what the hell is this guy talking about I'm just going to go on to another video and then you know like we're all individuals we have different points of view we have different needs we have different moments and when you watch this video it's going to be a totally different moment to the moment that I am creating this video because you're doing something else and I haven't released this video and it's very cool to think that I'm able to create this video in this time and place and you're able to watch it in your time and place and hopefully get something from it and hopefully see something in it. But as I was saying you know like with art and with beauty I went and saw this Leonardo da Vinci set up that was at the loom in Melbourne and it just filled me with wonder like this one man could do so much he was an artist he could paint he could sculpt he could he studied anatomy he created all these things you know the start of plumbing um, automobiles flight vehicles and all these kind of things and it's just insane but then you know I kind of realized like oh if a human as a human being what we experience and what we have shape us and any human being could really experience that you know some people may not be as an intelligent and able to fulfill that sort of potential but if you put someone in the right circumstance if you cultivate them if you cultivate the skills if you learn under other people under masters which is kind of how the schooling system should be rather than this set rigid way you know we should be exploring and doing things one-on-one -on -one with like a master someone who has spent years and years loving and learning and working on their craft and you know if somebody did that then of course they're going to their potential is going to increase how they what they create and what they do is going to increase and it's going to compound and it's going to open their mind up even more and make them more intelligent and for me I realized like oh like this is kind of beautiful that through art and that sort of thing, we can become better, we can share experiences that people can kind of get a sense of of life from that they can't get from words and we can express things that can't be expressed. And, you know, especially with our society, it's very sad the way that we are dealing with things, the way that we're dealing with people and you know, in, I've seen that some people are very unhappy about this collapse in in population, you know, like people aren't having as many kids, you know, people are waiting to become married and there's a lot more divorce and these sorts of things. And our society just seems like it's, you know, it's on the downhill, it's on the, it's going down and maybe it's not going down. Like in some ways, you know, it is good, it is okay, we're very privileged in that. But in this kind of sense, you know, it seems kind of bad. And what I wanted to say with this population collapse kind of thing is that does it really matter if our population is going to decrease if we're not actually having a better quality of life? Because if we look around at the 90% of people that are living their lives, they don't look happy. They don't look fulfilled. You know, they're not, they're not really living a, that great of a life. And I know this kind of sounds harsh, but... That, that's where I've come from, that's where I've been and you know just succumbing to these societal norms whatever they are just diet um, consuming content and you know these things especially for me I have this addictive kind of personality where I can get really lost in things and I can overindulge in them and for me I'm someone that needs to just cut it out I need to completely sever ties and just block those things out and just focus on the things that are going to be more beneficial for my life and that are going to help me more. <laughs> and I guess in life, what we all want is kind of happiness. We all want an answer or something. And for me, I've always searched like, where is meaning? Where is happiness? 
what do I have to do to get it? And I don't think it's out there in anything. And take what I say with a grain of salt, of course, and learn and explore what's important to you and what you want. But for me, what I want is that, what I realize is that life and happiness and meaning is found in daily life. It's in doing things, it's in experiencing things and experiencing moments and finding yourself in these kind of moments and experiencing life you know, all of its parts, because, you know, I find myself getting very distant and anxious around feeling bad and that sort of thing, but it's those down periods that really bring to light the good periods, you know, and that's kind of what life is, it's just this wave of highs and lows, troughs and hills and, you know, <laughs> like I'm just free flowing this video because I'm not sure where I wanted to go. I just wanted to explore this weird kind of know nothing kind of thing and just see where I would go to where where this conversation would take me and that. And you know, <laughs> maybe I'm trying to find somewhere, I'm trying to find something to end on. And <laughs> this is ironic because I'm trying to end on this and I'm trying to say that I'm trying to find something to end on that will hit, that will seem right and resonate. And this is just the funny thing about consciousness is that you can just go on and on about it. Like, I see myself, see myself, see myself, see myself doing this thing, you know. Like, and you can keep questioning, like, is this me? Is that my voice? No. Or was that my voice that was saying about that voice? Or is this my voice talking about that voice, talking about this voice, talking about that voice? And, you know, we can get ourselves all tied up with this consciousness kind of thing. But I think that once we kind of see things from this perspective that it's going to end, we look at other people as direction, you know, like, what have you done to get to where you are? What have you done to get to where you are? Maybe we don't have the same genetics as them. Maybe we can't reach the same heights as they could or the same potential that they could. But why not try? Why not live day to day and try and explore these areas and follow the things that ignite a passion inside of us, ignite something deeper in us that just give us this sense like oh you know maybe this life is really exciting and it can be worth living and <laughs> i just think of this from reading books you know like some books i don't read a full book you know if i start a book i won't always finish it and you should be like that with your life you know if if you start a book and it or you start something and you don't really like it just stick through it for a while and once you've kind of built up some sufficiency on it, then you can decide, do I want to continue this or do I want to stop? <laughs> so, for example, with me, with these videos is, you know, I'm just like, all right, I just want to get this done. I just want to keep doing this. I want to see what it does for me in my life. And the more I've done it, the more I've realized like, oh, I'm getting better at this. Oh, I actually enjoy this. This is a fun process. And it really helps keep me present and in the moment and think about my thoughts, what I should be saying. And it's something that's just, just this ongoing process. It's not like, oh, I enjoy making YouTube videos, so I'm going to get this many subscribers and get people to click on my videos. And then, you know, that's just going to be my life. It's like, no, I just want to explore this process of my life and through that, write out my ideas, write out what I learned, reflect on it, build on it, share these ideas, get feedback from other people and just keep iterating on this process because life is just this constant process of going through things. Anyway, I feel like I've gone on for quite a while. So thank you for watching. If you did, this was a different style video to what I'm normally doing, but in the future, I'm going to have, no, that's not talk about the future. In the future, you'll see the videos. They'll come up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.